Okay, I am gonna do the part two on this uh, girl, Renee uh, Bach. She is from Bedford, Virginia. I made some serious uh, mistakes in a, uh, in a video part one, and I do want to fix that. I was just lifted when I read that news, and I and I saw this, and I th saw these things. Uh, saw myself in the picture, boy, it, it lifted me up. I didn't know. Uh, it was like a train would hit me or something like this. Like a nightmare come true or something like that. Yeah, so I need to fix that part one. Uh, need to add a few extra extras to the part one. Uh, Rene Bedford, news about Rene Bedford, I realized, came out already in 2020. And my surprise, I see here, uh, I Googled this stuff here, and the news came out. Rene Bedford. Rene Batford, uh, Africa, uh, the news, I see, what the hell is this here now? What is this here? Mission to treat the cure malnutrition. My God, that's already in 2017. Wow. Uh, 2017 is what it is already. So already they started in 2017 now you're gonna say sebastian bob where have you been uh no man i was in my own world i was doing my own stuff today as i stated when i saw this news here uh it it it, it was like the train would hit me i saw this on a yahoo here uh this new news here i didn't know uh the hell i'm daydreaming or it, it's like a nightmare basically yeah, associated here with a white supremacy and it's big it, it it knocked my socks off uh a bunch of memories rushed through my head and uh i came to some conclusions that uh don't have anything to do with her i am gonna leave this stuff here okay i am gonna leave this stuff here i want this to be like this here uh however i am gonna post another video uh to her defense in a new uh, in a new um, on a new blog, I will do this because I feel that she is actually I was disconnected again. Somebody popped me out again. This issue uh, apparently this issue will resolve itself. Uh, Today I have 120, 90 now, 70. It used to be 150, and it was the police who told me they will play with all this stuff here. Um, anyhow, it is important for me to note quite a few things to her defense. I will come to her defense now, because it's not exactly the same person. Uh, I have, what the hell is this is supposed to be? All right, it is here, the link is here. It's not the, the exactly the same person I have identified. The problem is that there were other girls there before her. And some of those girls were really, really nasty piece of work. Uh, as nasty as it gets. But it turned out that this girl, contrary to other girls, was really a jewel there. She was 
she shined uh, and went to Africa, according to her, to help me out, to make a good impression uh, for my sake. This girl, too, ro romanced, uh, or, or how you say, Roman, I, Roman, romanced, whatever, with me and MK Ultra, uh, and I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say about this stuff. What I can say is because I it's, we met during MK Ultra, and so I I do have a big reservations when it comes to MK Ultra. I don't. It's important for me to to know more about uh, because of this, the politicians involved in all of this stuff, all kinds of people. Uh, and as I stated, there were some nasty piece of work ladies before her. And I don't even know if it was not the same camp. If it was not the same camp, there must have been some other one. I know that when she arrived, I had to go with her uh, to some city, to some other place, or some other locations. Uh, I know that she was very, very pleasant uh, to be around. Uh, she is coming from a stable neighborhood, uh, neighborhood, from a stable family. I am again being disconnected, by the way, thanks. Uh, and I do not connect like this, fuck that. Oh, wow, somebody disconnected me entirely. Which doesn't bother me, really. It's okay. We're going to do the cancel here, and we're going to do it like this. I don't want to know. I don't like here, connect automatically to be turned on and this and that. They're playing with this stuff, and I don't want to become a casualty. 72 megabit per second. Okay, cool. Nice. Thank you. It's a signal. Sure it is. Sometimes the signal goes to full, sometimes. There's a signal like you see there, but, you know. All right, man, I like this, especially like this stuff here. Uh, how the hell this stuff came to life? No, I have no idea. It says here, Thursday, February the 2nd, 2023. And... Uh, do you see how this... Could Come to life i do not i i can show you a history of the stuff i don't know uh let's go back to the subject i don't know this is what is this here from february the 2nd 2023 how the hell do i get to this link how the hell do i get to this link you don't i don't you don't where this link popped up is out of my uh, imagination, literally, out of the, the neighbors, the next door people that are playing with this stuff. Let's continue with this stuff here. This girl is coming from the stable circumstances, a stable background. Um, I am going to have to see her photos if I ever meet her on exactly how she looked when she was young. Oh, yes, I will inquire about that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't want to mistake it myself because, as I stated, there were some super, super nasty, evil piece of work that was involved in a charity work in Africa. Uh, some nasty girls, evil girls, like pals from the hell or something like this, evil as hell, uh, methodistic exploitive, uh, parasitic in absolutely every sense of you you can possibly not imagine stuff I met during MKUltra, the, the, all sorts of people I met. But this girl, based on my memories, it was exactly, and that's what, I, that's what I'm going to make sure that I'm not going to mistake myself. If she was one of those, she's in trouble. 
uh, if she was not one of those, uh, anything is possible. I'm open to absolutely anything. Uh, if she did go to Africa to help people, to assist people, to do good to people, it's all good. Uh, as a matter of fact, excuse me, also I'm going to add to that, if she was not involved in some nasty stuff against me, which in this city where she served at, that near city, the Africans performed Mount Everest of torture on me. And this includes this individual here. whom it appears to me a butcher of Uganda, this guy here, talking about the heinous crimes, and he is twisted in his hand. Here I see he displaying the muscles and, and uh, very aggressive, I would say. No, oh, I have been, all right, what's going on now with this stuff? All right, they're going to keep this stuff, we're going to disconnect, and we're going to connect again. Somebody's having a blast next door, and that's okay with me. Somebody, you see this stuff connect automatically? I never selected this stuff here. It's Somebody is troubled. Somebody is troubled with this. Family. This guy that's moving with his hands. Back up for a second. Twisting his I want to talk about Brittany Griner for a minute. All right. So Brittany Griner. Let me tell you something, dude. You're an American. I'm also an American. I can't wait to meet you on a court. You are a black racist, a prejudice, and I can't wait to meet you on the court. You committed Mount Everest of racial crime against me, and I want to meet you at the court. You are a trafficker, you are a hijacker, and you are a mega racist prejudice. That's the end of it about it. I get over with that stuff. We will meet, I tell you that much. You will meet your match in this life. You will meet. So I want to go back to this issue here, to this girl here. Her mother was really pissed off with me. Uh, she is here from this place, Batford. Uh, but this is not in Britain. This is in United States of America, in Virginia. All right. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign uh, that a mother, that her mother was concerned about views which American government uh, refused to take responsibility for uh, and was using me to amplify all sorts of tensions for the sake of all sorts of issues uh, which they attempted to use to whitewash their American slavery issues. You know, you know that the United States of America is a country based on a slavery, on a human slavery, uh, and I'm also sure if you watch my program, you understand that I arrived in the United States of America uh, sometimes in, in rather late 19, not late, but some like in the mid of 1995 for the first time in my life. I wasn't born. I speak English in a non-English country. Uh, I am from Slovenia. I am Slovenian native. Uh, and I have nothing to do other than what I stated when it comes to American history or, let's say, British colonialist imperial history. Uh, I'm Slovenian native 
whose grandparents on both sides of the family, as well as parents, both sides of the families sided heavily uh, against a neo-Nazi Germany or fascist Italy, which the two occupied Slovenia, that both parts of sides of my family were a partisans. So I take it as really, really not offensive that her mother took uh, a strong side against the American government uh, by jumping on my face and stressing the issues that appears matter to her, uh, issues that would rather want to make uh, her country in eyes of the world look as uh, concerned uh, for the needs of African people country. Uh, she condemned me for something I have nothing to do with it, something that was rather part of her, not me, as I explained and pointed out. Uh, and then it appears that it was a daughter that was sent to Africa on a missionary work. So just as I stated, I am going to find out about her early beginnings in Africa, and if those have anything to do with the nasty piece of stuff that went on uh, in Africa, using an Eastern European to misrepresent yourself to African people as a better option for the world, then it's going to be a trouble. If that was not a case, and really was an angel that traveled to Africa to do all the best for the benefit of African people, and then that's a good, good point, that's a good stuff, that's, that's a good beginning, that's a very good beginning, I would say. Uh, with a warning I'm going to issue to whatever city she was at about the torture that blacks performed on me whenever I was delivered through MK Ultra to that city, so that they could benefit from within, uh, get probably American government assistance, uh, funds, uh, released international funds from, I don't know, whoever financed from London uh, pulled this, uh, <clears throat> no, connections so that those funds could, you know, use basically them for a torture to give them, to release them funds. Now, that's something you have to understand. Due to my physical health, uh, psychological health, I will, uh, I am condemning the profiteering, uh, and it's not even a profiteering, but misusing what should be humanitarian work for the purposes of torture, of killing person, basically. I am condemning this stuff. So that's why I'm not down, not with a white, not with black racism. The two are not going to meet at my expense at any place at any time. Involving also other ethnicities, races, whatever it is in this world, I do not allow any bullshit like this. You can cry all you want about whatever you want. That's fine, as long as you don't do it at somebody else's expense with idea to profit from within. And that's exactly what happened with a city, with the two cities, whatever it was, one city was a local city where she was, and then she had traveled to some uh, other main city, whatever that was in Africa to get, uh, and finally to the government connections, she, uh, so this is not in Britain, of course not, to get this license approved really through the connection. Uh, she is the only child in the family. From what I recall, she's got a tall uh, father. Uh, I think, actually, I think that 
I'm not sure, but I think that her father is, uh, this is uh, uh, like a middle class of people, uh, but the middle upper class of the people because the both parents, based on my on my memory, and she is the only child in the family, are, are rather well situated. They're 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 okay. There, there's, there was no financial struggle or anything like this that would let her into such circumstances. Uh, Based on my memory, her mother had a glasses, if I remember. Uh, and it's rather weird, isn't it? But it says here that it takes about three hours and 46 minutes to get to Washington, D.C. Uh, based on my memory, she was a government worker even that worked in Washington, D.C. I, I, I don't know how the hell that would be possible, uh, but that's based on my memory. Whether that's true or not, I do not freaking know. I know that dad was taking a ride. Uh, boy, uh, I, I somehow could not understand how um, let me see that stuff here. That's about 200 miles plus, folks. It's like far. I mean, that's like 300 something kilometers uh, one way um, to Washington, D.C. And I, I don't know. Uh, her father was, you know, mom was like a mid size, like. Not really a tall lady or anything like this, uh, with glasses, but dad was like, I think, taller and, um, you know. And she is the only child. It's something, uh, child, yeah, she is a child. Uh, she's already 35 now. And these people were involved in anti since the beginning of the time. I don't know what her father is by profession. Uh, I, I have no idea. I think, I don't know. Her father was giving me an impression, strange impressions. Uh, he, he really looked like an engineer, uh, but he liked to play with a lawn and stuff like that in an area. Uh, I don't know. I have to think a bit more about this stuff because I just saw it. I know this was released in 2017, as I said, and it just lifted me up today when it appeared on a Yahoo. Uh, I thought I'm going to lose my mind when I saw that stuff associated with, uh, let's go back here. We hit the white supremacy issues and such. It totally, it totally lift me up. Uh, then I saw the title of this individual here uh, that balked here about the butcher of Uganda and stuff like this. And, and then I saw some other articles, boy, and I thought that, that this is it. Man. I was, I, I went out of my mind when I saw this stuff. I just started to record this stuff. Uh, 105 died. Uh, I reported it took 940 children. There are different numbers about this stuff here. But the thing is that as far as her family background, that's all I got to say. Uh, I just hope that she appeared to me very different from the girls that I have mentioned. Uh, I do not know anything about this stuff. Um, if she started this stuff when she was 19 years old, there are very strong chances that those girls, in fact, were uh, part of her team. 
uh, and that Joe Biden got rid of them, throw them back out of, out of Africa. Joe Biden was angry with them because of their nasty, nasty, nasty behavior toward me. Uh, it could have been something else, but those uh, females that were in Africa, and, I, and I'm going to repeat to you, white females from the United States of America, uh, I believe those did have doctoral degrees. Those were like students, something like this, medical students that did, however, have qualifications for this kind of stuff. So it's a possibility that those disappeared back the U.S. that Joe pulled them back to the United States. If that's happened so, uh, it must have been like sometimes like in 2005, something like this. Uh, so that was just about for her when she would arrive, something like this, like a, <clears throat> like a fresh beginning, basically, something like this, I think it was, that they that the Joe Biden was pissed off with them and he sent them back to the US because that, that was really like a super, super nasty piece of work. Uh, and it's a possibility that she went on with their legacy on a same location, whatever, that she reopened this stuff uh, and, you know, jump started again the whole thing without, you know, right there on her own with her ideas uh, involved in MK Ultra, she really had feelings for me. Uh, but chances are, as I stated, unless she was involved with that group of girls, that I would not forgive. Uh, that she really did this to help people to make best impression possible uh, I'm going to say maybe so even for my sake. That's why I said that there are different options open here. I am going to find out whether she was a part of that team or not. Uh, and, uh, you know, if she did this for the benefit of the people there under impression, under MK Ultra impression that she needs to help, you know, because mom is one thing, blah, 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 you know, but, you know, a daughter, no. Mom and dad are just really fine people. These are really, really nice people. These are very, very, very nice people. Uh, but I don't like anybody getting in my face and giving me on in and out about something uh, that never was part of my family history or any part of me uh, while denying the facts about what went on throughout my life during MK Ultra, also in other parts of the world. And it was in the US alone that was a very bad stuff that was done to me. Uh, it's for everything. Nobody ever took any kind of responsibility for. Uh, that's all there is. I don't I don't understand her mom or anything like this, but I want to be clear about this stuff here. Because I'm not buying any anything in, like we say, cat in a bag, whatever. Uh, taking upon myself something, I got nothing to do with it. Because I was harmed enough in this process. I lost over half a century of life on this crap. Because some people were just... A lot of people just really, really, really profited just like this guy here let's say he's talking about the butcher in uganda uh he got interests in it everybody that was involved in this stuff got interests in it uh people got their videos appear on a google through the google artificial intelligence on top and income consequently is falling in their hands and so on well i was completely ran over without having any chance to survive in this world. So I don't like this kind of stuff. Uh, Griner. Again, Brittany Griner gets caught in a Russian airport, I think with some hash oil. Put the link in the chat room in about 30 minutes. 
So if you want to add to the conversation, you're more than welcome to click on that link and call in. Um, also, hit that like button. Make sure you share. And guys, stop being so cheap. Go ahead and hit that super chat button as well. Okay? Go ahead and hit that super chat button as well. Y'all know y'all got to pay your ties. Okay? You have to pay your in search of Uhuru ties. So pay your ties. Uh, I don't mind anything about people earning their money. Uh, but this is a very, very aggressive title right there. A butcher of Uganda. And the guy was involved in it with some really racist, discriminatory uh, stuff that usually work on whites in the United States of America. There is this white culture in the United States of America that whiteness just feel uh, guilty uh, based on their racial division past in the United States of America, that blacks are just from basically just eager to exploit. There is no such thing like here, boy. You wouldn't even exist without my grandparents, without my family. Well, people like my grandparents, I'm going to say, without families on both sides of my family that I have. You would be a dust, my friend, if it wasn't for the people like the people from my family. And you allow yourself way too much, way too much. Yeah, and it's going the same. I'm going to say hello to you in Uganda, where you were so smart, and, and this, it goes the same thing. It goes the same thing to you. You can go, and you can... You found a common uh, interests uh, with uh, British royals, with imperialists, with those that enslaved you. More you had common with them than you had with me. Just remember what I said to you. I got nothing else to say. The rest you're gonna... In the United States of America, I'm citizen just like you are. We're gonna meet and we're gonna discuss this issue. All I wanna say about this girl is this girl was sweet. She was extremely sweet. She was extremely nice. Uh, based on my views, because I did mistaken her with a nasty piece of work, as I stated earlier, have appeared very likely, most likely in this very city, and departed from the city in 2005 after their mission was terminated. Back to the United States of America, this girl, I think, really was a jewel. This girl really, really, really was a nice girl. Uh, what exactly went on with this stuff here? It's my views in respect to practitioners. Medical practitioners are completely indifferent. And I warn this young American people, talented people, entrepreneurs, People that go out there and do the charity work uh, from getting yourself in a problems, in a trouble. I met some very talented, good black physicians, maybe exactly in this town here. Yes, indeed. It was a black guy, a physician, a doctor that I really liked. It was young black physicians, doctors, that told me, Bob, you know, she shouldn't be, she shouldn't be practicing this kind of stuff, you know. And I said, why the hell, you know, uh, uh, he, you know, I'm a doctor. He said, you know, and this and that and so on and so forth. And I said, uh, said, said, if you are a doctor and all this stuff, I said, why the hell don't you go and work with her? over there. Why don't you go and work? Why don't you give her a hand? Why don't you go and do the stuff with her together? Because I especially I like this guy. He was very nice, black physician, doctor, uh, and 
he made a very good impression on me. Uh, but he wouldn't touch this place, which was the fuck. I mean, I, to me, I was drugged up. I didn't understand what the hell, where is he coming from? All right, where he was coming from is basically from the same issues as myself. I stressed in a first part. Uh, shit, uh, things go wrong, and now you're going to go there and, and as a real physician, and it's, it's impossible. It's impossible, man, because you don't understand uh, what types of implications uh, derive from your not even meeting the expectatives of environment in whichever you are placed in. You can outperform, you can have above average results, uh, and if you're placed into, into, into a high-risk environment, and every environment, remember, is different because it's so many different factors that decide about that. Uh, shit. Uh, they, even if you do outstanding work as a physician, uh, shit, it's, it's a media. They kill you. They... The media will go out there and destroy you. That's why I said this is this is not this is not a technical work like some air conditioner repairman or serviceman or something like this. Uh, you know, doing your appliances, hardware, whatever. You know, uh, this goes into the profession that is a super super high uh, profession that is that is very very sensitive to uh, what whatever uh, not only your colleagues you can have a problem with your colleagues but how you're viewed as and going out there like this basically nobody would really do unless uh, you know, had a good intention. So I think that this girl is definitely in, in her, I would say, uh, I didn't like the idea that they brainwash me on. It's, it's disgusting, actually, when I consider that it was a TV show that, that started to brainwash me, how they work with her and they're going to help her uh, basically to... Uh, it appears to me that it was important to them for me to acknowledge that they're helping her out and this and that. Do it. Uh, the worst thing you can do is to the person like this is basically to help her out. I don't think that there was a grain of evil in her. I don't think there is a grain of evil in her unless she was that first tour of those ladies that left, as I stated, in 2005. They got lost back to the United States of America. Uh that she would need a special kind of advocacy for that matter, a special kind of help, uh, something like this, that, that uh, the proper choice of words that, that she would use to bail herself out. Uh, that's crazy, man. She, she really went out there, in my opinion, in my view, to help people, to help disimpoverished people with her, to do her best, uh, to uh, maybe really, to maybe make a positive impression on me uh, as to what went on with me, that her parents apparently liked me, uh, and uh, yeah, I can't say I can't say I can't say any 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 sorrow word from that aspect uh, that I say for her heart, but her character to be of a malicious nature or that would have a hidden agenda behind and so on. Uh, it's quite contrary. She even insisted, and it does matches this torture that took place in this place. Yes, it matches this torture that took place in this Ugandan city. 
and in the, this other cities that, where they had me. <laughs> Every time when I was brought there and this and that, uh, obviously the government profited from within. Uh, obviously, uh, she went overboard with this stuff. Uh, not only to pre present herself to the people best to her abilities, uh, but she also insisted me that uh, I would make later on donation to these people and so on and stuff like this. She insisted me even on donations uh, to this African people. So now I find the stuff like this guy is talking about that she is a butcher of Uganda and there is some uh, outlets out there when I read this news today, I didn't even research when this news was released. As I said, this white supremacy, uh, it totally clouded my mind when I saw this stuff and uh, that she was like in a white coat and shit like this. Boy, uh, I had a pain in my guts when I read the news. Um, I started to think about these girls that were there and so on, just nasty people. I didn't know what what to come up with. Uh, but yes, my views on a medical field remain the same thing. This is the most sensitive. This is a work with the humans. There's nothing more sensitive. We live, folks, in 2023 right now, in 2000s. This is not the same. This is an era of internet. It's an era of uh, so-called human rights. Um, this is an era of the fake news. This is an era of lies. Never seen anything like this in the history of the humankind. Universal declaration of lies universal declaration that's what i mean when i say united nations but basically human rights agencies engaging in a torture for profiteering for <laughs> for the issues that are rather contributing to a problems greater and greater problems we are facing in this world i saw the the, the documentary about the four French Foreign Legion yesterday and there is 8,000 people that are employed in this French Foreign Legion and when I think about how much money goes to the United Nations and there were even apparatchiks at the United Nations that questioned whether it is okay to even work with the French Foreign Legion uh, whether the French foreign religion should even participate uh, in its missions. Uh, oh, fuck. Excuse me, but uh, what we have in the United Nations are parasites. What we have in the United Nations are parasites with a ties that go there. They suck blood and they're actually looking for global conflicts to increase the presence for certain nationalities from rather poor world in a necessity for opportunity, employment, jobs, uh, to participate in those critical areas where the war conflicts develop. These war conflicts don't resolve anything in this world, for one thing I'm going to say to you. and. That's why I said, if you even know what French Legion is, how these people earn their bread, this French passport, because it's the first lesson I got from the French Legion was uh, as a fan, as a supporter, one of the biggest supporters that the French Legion ever had was... Uh, might be accused by French presidents, not only one, but they, they repeated this shit to me, that uh, 
French Legion was about to assassinate French President de Gaulle. Uh, and because it's a French Legion, right? You, if it's going to come in your mind, is that is France, Francais, vive la France. Like I was, I was all enthusiastic about the France. I like France, I like French. And uh, French, it's a French legend, it's, it's very good. I like that because it's French. It, nobody's more European than French, I think. French is like, uh, even when it comes to colonialism issues, they were like the softest. They had like the most acceptable, the most, uh, when compared to the Germans or when compared to the British, they have a totally different hierarchy. They had a totally different approach toward colonialism. They did have tendency to assimilate people into France historically which other countries did not have. They were the people that promoted uh, literacy in other continents, wherever they participated in colonialism and so on. I'm not defending the colonialism, uh, but the French idea about the France was the first one that in Eastern Europe created uh, provinces, Illyric provinces and so on, uh, they did not have hidden agendas with Napoleon having this Polish woman and so on across the Europe where they traveled. Uh, they did not go after the people because of their non-French origins and so on, but they, it appeared to me that they always try to incorporate others into uh, some kind of mentality. I think France alone comes close to United Nations as any country can possibly come. So when I said this shit that French foreign legion in French foreign legion because of the attentat, because of the assassination attempt on a French president, de Gaulle, uh, Charles de Gaulle, uh, French people don't have the, the right to participate in a French legion. It's just called French legion because you serve France. Uh, and you even get a passport as a foreign national if you do the contract, I understand, five years. Uh, but French people are not allowed to, to serve in a French legion, only foreigners. And so if anything comes as close as to uh, earning the money by eating nothing other than bread and drinking water, you know, that should already alarm. This is what the training is based upon. Um, already for the fucking uh, food, <laughs> it, it, the money uh, invested in these people already pays you back. And when it comes to the training, uh, there is no elite forces, anything like this in the world that could match anywhere near uh, French Foreign Legion. This is where those that want more than service in U.S. Marines which are, or Navy SEALs, and I'm not trying to put you down in any way, go basically to test the roughest and toughest, and uh, it's actually quite self-destructive service, for which they say one in ten comes back. Uh, actually, excuse me, uh, one out of ten doesn't even return from the missions. Uh, that's why I said, if you know what the French Foreign Legion is, right? I'm going a little bit philosophical here because really I hate the parasites that sit inside of the office with the ties and lies and lie and kill people with the lies and torture people inside of the United Nations Assembly, death threaten people inside of the United Nations, drug the people inside of the United Nations Assembly, and are in there to represent special interests, genocide, basically, of those that hunted this world with the idea to destroy one. That's why I said this. The real man versus garbage, basically. Garbage basically deciding about the fate of the real man, because that's about... When it comes to a NATO 
the lines uh, is risky and is dedicated as he gets. General Schwarzkopf, who was involved in MK Ultra and who got that special telephone number from them, uh, can confirm uh, is for me this is just absurd that that we have come to equal uh, with a salary is three four five times bigger at people with people at the United Nations opposed to the real man that are out there uh, to enforce the needs of the United Nations where other people don't even have a guts to come or 100% would fail. Missions which are actually happening from the United Nations because of the real man for which the world is even condemning about. You understand me what I'm saying? Uh, all I want to say uh, about this girl is that uh, not a, based on my experience with her, not a track of any kind of white supremacy, exactly contrary, especially because of the mother I stated. I think she even works at Washington, D.C. She had these politicians that would totally watch over about what went on. She has some kind of a government work, I think. And this is crazy. This, this is impossible. She was, uh, she was very concerned for me. Now, she's not so, so small, lady. She's actually quite tall. And when father would deliver me to her, uh, she was very serious. She stressed to me the issues. I, I don't know where she would, where I would put her. Uh, she was like in the office and stuff like this. Uh, and, uh, she would stress to me the things, the importance, and I really don't know. She's some kind of government work, but you know, in Washington D.C., you meet all kinds of Bill Clintons and uh, Joe Bidens and all kinds of people like this from all over the background, all over the place. These people definitely know them. Uh, Uganda is a country in development, in a process of development. Uh, it's a country that's left far behind in absolutely many ways for the main reason, contrary to the man that is stressing the issues, bitching about the issues, about how okay, he I, I didn't even watch this video, and I think it's bullshit. I think it's crazy. Uh, I think it's a nonsense uh, to listen to somebody that is actually even lambasting his own black people, uh, Americans, uh, and uh, trying to make money uh, out of pointing out how America is in it basically to cause evil, basically pulling out some kind of racial tensions, uh, making money basically through present himself to the world like somebody that actually cares about human relations or something like this when uh, it's based on my observation this stuff is it looks to me like the guy I'm not going to even say is concerned about the money issues but since he was involved in this stuff I think he's got some he's under the impression of basically which happens also frequently. He's not the only one, but it was people that were taking sides, you know. Uh, it, was a, it, was, it was a million of people that had an idea about me, whom I should marry, whom 
I should be with, how my life should be, what I should be, and this and, and that and, and so on and back and forth. Um, this guy is not qualified to be even a YouTuber. He's got obviously a racial problems and producing the videos like this, uh, knowing even about the case, he knew about this girl. He knew, he knew, and he met her. He got to see her. He knew about that stuff. Uh, and based on this kind of stuff, then now you have people preaching to the rest of the world on how they should see themselves in. He is making unprecedented damage, not only to an individual like this, but to entire community. He is deceiving his own community, his black community, the U.S. And when it comes to the United States of America, uh, it's a nation. <laughs> there is black, there is white, there is Asian, there is American natives. There's all kinds of people in there uh, who, however, should use common sense to protect their common interest, basically. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be dividing and going this way and that way and so on and so forth and looking where you're going to steer shit against one another. Uh, if only, and it's terribly unethical and wrong, to make a dollar, to make a buck, basically. Now, people are getting nasty with this, Instagrams and stuff like this, just attention grabbing. Not good stuff. Um, this girl is okay, uh, unless she was involved with those girls, which I believe was not. Um, She's got obviously entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, I have not traced in her absolutely any kind of hatred, any kind of uh, racist, racial issues. And uh, I would encourage uh, to her to decline uh, the assistance of attorneys decline assistance of uh, people who uh, basically are out there uh, trying to, like it was the case with this TV station, that, that they, they're going to teach her, fuck this, you know? This girl doesn't need anybody to teach her what to say, because she was guided by her views, definitely was, to Africa, with idea to help people. Her goal was to go to Africa and do best their abilities, uh, which Africa at the time, something I started earlier, did not finish, could not satisfy anyone near. It's not the fault of the white people for what's happening in Africa today. It's this stuff here that is guilty for everything. It's the shit that some people are steering. Uh, it's a number of children. India came to conclusion. You know, India? India is about 10 million light years in front of Africa. India is a country that will race out of the poverty. India came to conclusion that it's better than to produce 100 children, it's better to produce 10 educated with university degree children. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? You need to take a responsibility for your actions, for the stuff you do. Don't make children if you can't pay, if you can't take care of them. I'm 52, almost, and I don't have a single child. You understand me what I'm saying? Don't bring the children to this world to suffer. Don't bring something. Don't go and buy the car if you can't afford, if you can't pay for one. Don't go and buy yourself a house. Don't go on a leisure on a vacation. Don't go and buy yourself things if you don't have the money to pay for. Don't do the stuff 
irresponsible stuff that's going to cost you on a long run and those whom you're going to deliver to this world. To suffer all their life for something that was a very, very wrong decision. In fact, it did. This girl here, uh, I absolutely vindicate her of any uh, anything uh, I, I, I have made in, in the first video, in the first part, uh, as an assumption about uh, that, that uh, you know, it, it might be something like this. I'm, I am very angry about what they took place against me. And I did clear that part in the beginning of the video. It was the stuff should not take place. Uh, but this girl worked extremely hard. Uh, she was taking some examination stuff. Uh, I don't know exactly as I stated. I think beginning the 2011 uh, that that it was she was under a lot of stress. And this is the problem because really next to a knowledge there is this practical work uh there is a stress the ability to handle all this and without uh, a school without the education without a proper education without a practical uh it's impossible to go out there and practice uh, something like this however also what i started earlier uganda did not have Uganda was so poor when she came there. It was so terrible. Uh, with this black lady, I remember, I recall, it was this black lady who had a war. Uh, it was this black lady. Let me see if I can see something like that somewhere uh, at the local city council, whatever it was. I don't see. It was like a traditionally black African lady. And she looked to me more like a merchant. And she was like, yeah, like, you know, people that, that this guy has here um, uh, on a video. I saw it. I saw these people here when, when, uh, when he goes out there on a street. All right, so we are here in Accra, in Ghana. Uh, this is my first. And this was back in the day, you know. Uh, Welcome when, when he goes out there on a street. Yeah, yeah, he's real, real famous, real famous. Uh, take a picture. Listen, uh, it was a rather lady like this, traditionally wear something green and stuff like that. That she was at this local city council, and she uh, she was eager to assist her when everybody was negative toward her. Uh, she, this lady was eager to assist her and she insisted that she will assist her uh, no matter what against all the odds against other people and protesting to it you know if i go back to back to this black physician to this doctor you know, a very nice guy whom i have asked why don't you go there and help her you know and as i, I told you that this is the most risky profession because when you go and you don't want to associate yourself as a doctor because you're going to fucking compromise your career, your absolutely everything, uh, your degree, basically. It's like you throw one in a mud, in a shit, basically. My God, they, you know, it was disaster bound to happen, basically. Um, I don't know. Maybe he did give her some advice and stuff like this. Uh, I don't know what exactly happened. Uh, I remember this black guy, a physician, a doctor, a young man. Uh, I asked him to go, and why don't you go and, and uh, you know, give her a hand, and why don't you two work together and so on. And it was just not, he was just not into this stuff. Uh, this black lady figured out that in that part of Uganda, which was totally very much abandoned, and if it was not abandoned, it was a mafia, Ugandan mafia style hit, basically a black racism, a black prejudice that sparked 
the opportunity for her to work on her own in Uganda. Basically, the people that I met in this big city, this big shops where she had to go to get the permission and stuff like this, did not like me at all. And I don't think they liked her at all. And with the type of clientele talking about the Vladimir Putin involved in this stuff, these people were rather looking for a problems uh, and were preparing the problems, the ordeal, uh, destruction, her destruction on a long term. And so I think that was from the top of the Ugandan state also something they were preparing to fuck her basically on a wrong run. So in that sense, when I recall this state attorney or whoever was that person uh, who was also deciding about this stuff in the background, I feel that Ugandan state prepared some nasty stuff for her uh, with which they attempted to even blackmail, uh, I think, everybody involved in it, yeah? Uh, so given all the circumstances, the backgrounds of this case, uh, I am definitely vindicating her of absolutely any kind of problems that she caused in Uganda. There was uh, uh, a white female physicians uh, that would, however, not stay there. I made a mistake with whatever took place before 2005 with another female team. Uh, the nasty girls that were gone in 2005 back to United States. Uh, who would come and they would do their best. And that's a bad part about the black young physician from Uganda, whom I have asked, why don't you go and help? You see, that's a fucked up part about being somebody who goes out there to help the people out and the country that is preparing uh a blackmail, a crime, basically against the person who came to help uh, your own people in this case, declining, basically thinking about how you're going to look now in front of the people rather than to jump into it and give a hand to the young girl, basically. It's racially motivated also excuse. In this sense, Ugandan government did not take anything to help this girl. Uh, it was everything had fallen on the shoulders of the white people. Uh, it was all up to the white physicians. They came from whatever, and also from, I think, other countries from the Europe that would start to tutor her. Uh, and give her a hand, like in 2012, uh, these young physicians, females, would come and they would, they would, they would work with her, work with her. Uh, the whole thing turned into a, a very bad stuff. With Joe Biden making even more stupid the whole thing, uh, rather than to squeeze Ugandan government on these issues, he took the responsibility. Uh, upon his shoulders for basically Ugandan government crime, uh, suggesting that it's statistics that needs to be uh, improved, and then it's, we got to make this like basically cosmetically look good and stuff like this, uh, increase the average and so on and so forth. Fuck this. Uh, it's all about the responsibility, your own actions, uh, your willingness to bend down in front of criminals uh, that are obviously trying to uh, cash uh, out of your human weakness, basically, or maybe even wickedness. I don't fucking know. Uh, so from my point of view, I'm going to give uh, a big yes to this girl that uh, indeed was under very stressful circumstances. She did not present herself, to my knowledge, as a doctor. According to my knowledge, according to what I know, according to my memories, uh, she clearly posed as, a, uh, as an assistant. I don't even know if, if, if as a nurse, she, she weared normally uh, for uh, a medical staff. Uh, 
therefore uh, somewhat a uniform that would suggest that she is part of the medical staff. Yeah, but she did have occasionally visiting a real doctors, physicians that would come to see, to check her work and give her advice and so on. Uh, given the circumstances, uh, it's a disgrace for Ugandan government uh, that have placed at stake so many of its children uh, with idea to uh, build more white guilt. It goes into the category of the black discrimination, black Klux Klux Klan, a racism, extremism, black extremism we see in the United States of America blown out of proportions by the people like this guy here. It goes to extremism of the Black Lives Matters. Based on my experience, based on my observation in this case, uh, that's what I'm going to be standing in defense to this girl here that you see. That's after the second thought that I came to consider about what took place, I am going to go to her in absolutely in defense. Uh, the poor people that brought their children to her uh, location were under the stress. Uh, it is extremely stressful uh, to have a child and no government facility, nothing whatsoever that would offer uh, a basic health care to your own child. And easily you can imagine, uh, is enough that one person, and if you, you know, I remember in Slovenia, <laughs> my father, <laughs> he would take a, a big sausages and he would catch fish. Uh, no, shit, my father didn't take the sausages, but we have a surgeon here, the next door, Dr. Igor Kotara has spoken about, and every fucking day, this guy never had to buy a food. He got all this smoked uh, beef, uh, all kinds of stuff, the farmers, the people that would go that would have their relatives or for themselves, they would have surgeries done. They fucking loaded the guy with the goodies, with the home goodies. Uh, he didn't have to go to the store to get, like, absolutely everything the best. Because people were under a spell, a magic spell. This is not in Africa, this is in Slovenia. It was... In Yugoslav Federation is the same shit still goes on. People have the impression that they have to go to physician uh, before they go to the physician. And if they want to have a good physician, uh, that is just the way to do exactly what I stated. To load basically his fridge with, if you have a farm at home, just get the fucking gifts, whatever, all kinds of gifts and so on. Uh, you're not going to go to heaven unless you buy your local priest a Toyota or whatever. Uh, you, you get me what I'm saying? Uh, my father would not go to the physician, to a doctor, uh, without supplying those with uh, fish he would catch. And uh, physicians appreciate it. Why the fuck not? Next to the salary, you get, like, first class food, free, for what you should otherwise perform. Uh, it's something that became uh, conflicting, and it's something I would actually kick your fucking ass for. So you get more than enough paid to buy several fucking groceries in the store. Fucking scum. Based on my experience with the fucking scum, you can see how far I came in life. With thanks to the people with univer with university, or I should say universal degrees, such as is the field, the medical field. I would fucking break the batons on your backs, on your spines.
for the shit you did to me because you don't deserve to live. Talking about the medical professionals, physicians, psychiatrists, psychologists, all the scum that is out there, cream of the society that should take care. The World Health Organization basically is what I'm talking about and is contrary to this progressing decay of global society, basically, taking us back to the dark ages, basically, back centuries back, wiping us out, basically, for everything that uh, education and issues as such stood for, ethics and so on. Uh, I am absolutely condemning Ugandan government uh, for subjecting even deliberately children to such maltreatment, mistreatment, uh, declining to involve its medical professionals uh, in a field of a charity where this girl was basically providing the work free of any charges. Uh, disgusting. Uh, and let's hope things are going to change in the future also with the Ugandan government uh, prompted to a, a better ethics, improve their ethics and work, you know, be more humane, uh, less racist, less discriminatory, less fascist uh, for the common good of the human, uh, uh, human wealth, human prosperity. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, so this is my uh, everything I have to say in respect to uh, what is the name? Rene Bach case from Bedford, Virginia. Uh, a nurse listed as a, I don't know, white dead supremacist, uh, mass killer of the black people in Africa and so on. Wow. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.